can you see by the dawn's early light? 26 years ago today, our nation won a hard-fought battle to end discrimination for over 50 million people when we signed into law the Americans with Disabilities Act, the ADA. And that's why, that's why Hillary Clinton wants to ensure that people with disabilities are judged by their potential. After Hillary graduated from law school, she could have gotten a job anywhere, but she chose to work full time for the Children's Defense Fund. And I became a lawyer to advocate that disability is not a problem to be cured, but a part of our identity and diversity. So I went to work for the Children's Defense Fund, going door to door in New Bedford, Massachusetts, on behalf of children with disabilities who were denied the chance to go to school. I recently became a U.S. citizen. But for 14 years, I was undocumented. At the age of two, I was hit by a car and lost my leg. When I think about our American story, I believe it was born in the hearts of my parents that night as they stood over my hospital bed. Because my parents were determined that I would reach my full potential and not be limited by my disability. So we gathered facts. We built a coalition, and our work helped convince Congress to ensure access to education for all students with disabilities. It's a big idea, isn't it? Every kid with a disability has the right to go to school. In a country where 56 million Americans with disabilities so often feel invisible, Hillary Clinton sees me. My heart just swelled when I saw Anastasia Somoza representing millions of young people on this stage. As a person with a rare form of dwarfism, my family knew that my life was going to be filled with surgeries and hospital visits. For me, quality, affordable health care was more than a privilege. It was an absolute necessity. Twelve years ago, I was co-piloting a Black Hawk helicopter over Iraq. A rocket propelled grenade ripped through our cockpit, and I am only here tonight because of the miracles that followed. I started that day doing what I loved. I ended it knocked down, surviving only because my buddies refused to leave me and wouldn't stop, even as they struggled to carry my body with its missing limbs. No one gets through life alone. We have to look out for each other and lift each other up. Do all the good you can for all the people you can in all the ways you can as long as ever you can. And now I want to teach all of you a beautiful sign. Take your fingers and put them together like this and move it in a circle in front of your body. That, my friends, is the sign for America. It's a beautiful sign. Think about it. We're all together. We're all together. No one is left out in this constant circle of life that is America.